Revolution. Did you know that in 2016, around one in five young adults in the UK, aged between 16 and 24, took an illicit drug? This equates to 1.1 million people and this number is still rising. Recently, drugs have taken over the UK and have been rapidly rising due to the youth becoming accustomed to the illegal highs. These are the stories of two young students who have, and still do, take drugs. Um, drugs has affected my relationship with some of my friends, because um, they don't like, accept it, and yeah. park with some friends, one of them just had it on him. It's taken, it was just, I guess it was just curiosity really, you know, like, hear people talking about it, you just want to try it, see what it's like, I think it's just one of those things you've got to experience. You know? uh, I think one of the main reasons, you know, it's big in youth, uh, I think teenagers are very rebellious, uh, naturally, so a lot of it, you know, due to it being illegal, that everyone wants to rebel and, you know, give it a go. Laws and drugs, uh, I think they're far too short, to be honest. Like, a lot of them should be illegal, you know, heroin, cocaine can destroy lives. But weed, I, th I believe, should definitely be legalised. Uh, I think legalising drugs would make people less more, less likely to take them in some aspects. Obviously, that's the, like I said earlier, rebellious. They'll be less likely of a nature to rebel, as it's much easier to get hold of, like, say, cigarettes but I don't think it will obviously completely stop it because it's still the same effects and everything. I don't regret taking it, no, definitely not. Um, I, don't, I, I wouldn't say I'm addicted or anything, like I could easily stop it if I wanted to. I just do it for recreational purposes, family and friends. Clearly you can see in this person's opinions that drugs are only for fun. Although he states he doesn't take anything like heroin, he still admitted to taking a lot of different types of drugs. We headed over to London to speak with Henry Fisher, who is part of the senior management team at The Loop. The Loop is a company who provide drug testing at places such as clubs, bars and festivals all across Europe. So I am Henry Fisher, I'm the Health and Science Policy Director at Voltface, which is a drug policy think tank. Uh, I'm also part of the senior management team for the harm reduction organisation called The Loop. The jobs that I do at the loop, uh, I do because I think it's important that people are given more information about drugs and given them more accurate, um, non-judgmental information and information that they can, can use practically to reduce the harm of drug use. Yeah, so we're expanding rapidly. We, um, so when, when I joined, there was about 20 of us. Uh, now there's a about 200 or so volunteers, and now that's continually growing. So. Uh, yeah, I, I do think it's actually helping people to recognise the, 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 the dangers that, that can be caused from drugs, uh, both through the kind of direct work that Loop does, actually interacting with people, giving um, harm reduction inf interventions. And there's kind of there's, there's clear things that we can point to like that, like. Um, People, when we've analysed like certain samples, they've come back as being particularly dangerous or worrying. We've, um, yeah, they, we offer them to, to we, offer, we always offer that people can handle the rest of their samples in. And uh, they often do when they're particularly dangerous samples. We also record whether after having spoken to us, they're more likely to take, more or less likely to take less of the, their drugs. Um, and I think about 40% of people that we speak to after speaking to us say that they're going to take less. After talking to Henry Fisher, it is clear to see that the drugs aren't going away anytime soon. So the best way to make it safer for people is to have a service, like The Loop, where you can test and see the ultimate dangers of your drugs. So far we can tell that this service does work because 40% of the people who got their results back said they reduced the amount they take, showing promising signs for the future. What advice would I give to today's youth about drugs? Um... I mean, I guess it entirely depends. I suppose the, the number one thing that I would advise anyone young, uh, especially anyone kind of under 18, uh, is that the kind of, the younger you start using drugs, 
Um, this is kind of this backed up by evidence. The only you start using drugs, the more likely you are to run into problems down the line.